episode 73. Yeah. We uh, jump into some Red Dead, which is... Uh, Con- well, Red Dead Controversy. Yeah, Red Dead Controversy, which is not surprising because we've been playing this a lot for the, uh, the podcast because the game's so dope. <laughs> um, but yeah, check out, check it out. Enjoy the listen. What was your favorite part of the podcast, Vish? Uh, well, Disney Plus. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. That that'll be exciting when you hear about that. So, uh, look forward to Disney Plus. Yeah. Breaking news right on this podcast. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, merchandise. So, uh, if you want to support the podcast, aside from subscribing and supporting on Patreon, patreoncom slash gamers you can also pick up some teas on Teespring. Shop.gallymfire.com. Uh, yeah, support the podcast through these means. Go fish. Oh, like, share, and subscribe, and commenting. Commenting, yeah, and and the one that has never come yet, but we're hoping for <laughs> a video reply. Yeah, throwback, throwback every day. Yeah, right. All right, cool. Here we go. Uh, Three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This is episode 73, divisible by these amazing numbers. Vish? What? You're better at math than me. Not at all. 73 is divisible by... None, actually. I think 73 is a prime number. Sure. I don't know. I think I'm making that up. Anyways, this is the regularly scheduled podcast. We talk about four things that we thought were cool from the week. And dissect them in the modern Socratic gamer method of playing games while we talk. So first on the docket, Vish, what's up? Uh, well, well, it's not really controversy from the game per se, but it's like controversy in. Like, oh, you know, what's so funny. I was about to actions say actions of what you can do in Red Dead. Okay, I was about to say what's on the docket first. Probably something from Red Dead, and it was so. Okay. All right, so anyways, <laughs> continue. So there was some guy, a YouTuber. What's his name? Some YouTuber. Oh, YouTuber. I thought you said 8 Jibber. I was like, well, that's a weird name. No. <laughs> YouTuber. All right. Yeah. Uh, so he released a video just doing like, kind of like slapstick humor, like kind of like, you know what I mean? Like Little memes? Little memes, like how I've been making memes recently? Sure, yeah. Kind of like know, that, like little, little funny bit, videos? It's a little All bit right. harsh, but it's oh, okay. just more for just comedic use. Okay, cool. Uh, but like, and then all of a sudden his YouTube account was taken down. Oh, by, no way. By YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Well, that sucks. Well, I'll, I'll tell you the whole story. So okay. then people were like, some people were like, oh, it's good that happened. Cause what he was doing was, uh, pure hate. Like what he was showing <laughs> okay. was pure hate. So what was it in the video? The specific video they talk about was like some self jet, like fighting for women's rights. So they were like what? at a, they're like, kind of protesting. Okay. In the game, uh, I haven't even got to that. Place oh, they're yet. protesting in the game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. he was just, uh, uh, he was just like kind of like, bugging her, then like doing like different c- scenarios, like killer would, um, feed her to the crocodiles. This is another video. Put oh. put her and the put her at the tracks as the train runs oh, her that over. Oh, makes sense, and that's why he's saying it's hate. Hate well, that's what they're whatever. saying. Okay, yeah, true. But then, right. uh, yes, if you look at those videos, and if he's that's the only videos that he's putting up, I can see why you would think that. Okay. But then I looked at his YouTube channel because they ended up reversing that. They put it back on again. Okay. With the mature rating. Okay. So he got it back from YouTube uh, after like backlash because people were like, "This doesn't make any sense because he's not doing anything that's." Uh, anything yeah, yeah. bad here because it's, it's just a video game okay okay and then i scroll and look at his other videos he's like oh he's doing the same thing to kkk's that are in the game okay so he's not like so he hates women and kkk's <laughs> like what well, i don't understand no i just think he's, he's just doing it like uh what works as views and oh, what is okay. like crazy slapstick humor that is just not it's not like he's intentionally hates Okay, well, all right, so this brings up another point about, um, uh, not privacy, what do you call that? Like, censorship. Yeah. So, okay, so do you think that YouTube and, like, Twitter and, like, Facebook are all, like, 
utility platforms like they should be like publicly owned sort of like electricity like everyone has a right to own them or no uh it's a hard question uh right? because, because like, like the controversy with Alex I, Jones. I wonder you would i think you would have to put some kind of rule because if so many amount of people start using it then it becomes more of a public platform than you know what i mean i i guess right like there's there's kind a certain of, level because this is all new right i kind this of is the internet it's hard to agree. say i kind of agree so yeah I'm, i know that's what i'm saying it's hard because I, but then it's also these rules don't exist so they can do what they want see this is this is how i think about it <laughs> it's a it's it's a corporation right yeah well i guess electricity started as a corporation too you have to kind of look at like the historical historical precedents, you know, yeah, yeah, of like yeah. how other things work. But like, I kind of feel like with these things, it's like there are alternatives out there. There were no other alternatives for electricity. There's only gonna be like one electricity provider. Right, but I'm saying like if if all of a sudden like eighty percent. But there's of people... but there's like Vimeo. No, I don't, you yeah, can yeah. still upload your. It's not like they're not they're not censoring you from the internet. They're censoring like these from companies pl- yeah, from yeah, the yeah, platform. Yeah, but yeah. it's like. Yeah, you're but using the platform for that. Yeah, that's that. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If, uh, yeah, so these rules don't exist, but it's like... Uh, like, like, all right, let, let's so say... if I'm 80% a... is using that platform, then you can't go on that platform anymore. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That could let, affect your... All right, all right, it's sort of like this. Let, let's say I own a gasoline company, and then somebody buys gasoline to start fires in the forest. I'd be like, dude, I'm not going to sell you gasoline anymore. You're doing craziness with it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's the same thought process, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's like... It's, I'm not. I'm not stopping you from getting gasoline other places. Mm-hmm. You can go to the mom and pop shop, but you can't come to mine. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's not. It's not such a monopoly that. Cause see, like, the government, like, uh, I think it's called olig- oligoc- oligopolies. So it's like there's monopoly, right? Where you have the majority. Your company owns the majority of the shares in the market. Oligopolies are where you own a hundred percent of the share, and that's where government has to step in. They're not. You're not allowed. Yeah, there's, there's a. Yeah, there's, there's a certain right? percentage. I hope I'm I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oligarchy or no? I'm pretty sure it's oligopoly. Okay, okay. Um, I think I remember, Amazon is close to it. I think close to it, but it's not there. It has it's a monopoly, but it's not an oligopoly. So. Well, I think it's they no they restrict on monopolies, right? Is it not? No, but right, right. They start stepping in at monopolies, but then when you get to oligopoly, it's like all right, uh, we just need to like really crack down on you because you can't have one company own everything, or else it's unfair advantage. No, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So Amazon's not there yet. Exactly, exactly. So like with this, I feel like they haven't hit that zone, and that's why. Mm-hmm. I understand it from like an ethical point of view or like a fairness, whatever, whatever. But if you actually look at it in business terms, it's like you're not breaking the law. Yeah, you know, by kicking you off. But, so. Yeah, no, I mean, I have no, I have no problem with what YouTube is going to do, whatever they want to do. That's it's, fine. It's your platform. You get to choose how you right. want to do it. I, the, I, I think it's just it's just how the people took it. it. Actually, they reversed it because of how people were saying that it's. But like, but see, see on Vimeo, yeah. there's more, there's more creative freedom on there. You can you can post a lot of weird stuff on Vimeo. You can find some weird videos, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But like YouTube, you can't. So it's like, all right, no, no, if you no, want to do know. that, go to Vimeo. I know, but I mean, like. Yeah, then then YouTube saw the backlash and they reversed it. Yeah, but the reason why they <laughs> saw the backlash because they don't want to lose like pro- like what happens if there's an uprising and then people are like oh screw YouTube then. Yeah, no, no, it's, you know, like the, 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 I not, think they're I not know, doing the, it out of justice. The, the issue, out of the coffee. issue was, um, well, what are the rules? We don't know what YouTube's rules are, and it's kind of like they're choosing and are picking and choosing versus following like their own guidelines. One hundred percent, but right? simultaneously. It's a free. You're not paying for anything. No, it's I know, free. but I'm. Yeah, I know, I know. But there were. Well, I think the complaint was like they don't have a proper, like, what what are, what are the pr- proper guidelines to follow? Yeah, I know, but still, even with that, it's like you, they still own the platform. That's their platform. No, you know I, mean? it's no, like, no, no. I know, I know, but I'm saying like, yes, but if you have a, you got the TOS and the TOS terms of service. Okay. Then. Uh, but they can change those TOS at any time. Yeah, but that means you, I understand that. Yeah, yeah, but not you cannot. Like, yeah, you have to change the TOS before you can do that. Then the TOS wasn't changed. Maybe I I I feel yeah. like that's not a valid enough argument to to like. No, I just think that in order. No, no, but I think that in, in no, no, it's just it's also to protect YouTube. It, it's sort it's sort of like because this. then this they wouldn't have this problem. It, it's sort of like this right? when they have. 
continuous upgrades on a platform. So like when when we're running new ads on Facebook and stuff, yep. and then they're like, oh, they changed the the they changed the layout of the ad, and I can't have any functionality that I used to have. Well, that's your that's your problem. You're using the platform. Yeah, I know. You know no, it's no, like, that's fine. But so, I'm, you know what I'm saying. But is that they like didn't is that, that also though. breach of TOS? Because they'll, like, they'll give our, you a new TOS that you have to uh, acknowledge to, right? Remember? No, no, no. But but no, no, but. With Facebook, they can make updates. They they're constantly making updates. Like I always see, like on my phone, it's like, oh, this menu option is not there anymore. Same with Twitter. But it's like they didn't opt. They didn't make me opt in for these changes. It's the menu platform. options are different. It. But I'm saying, like, how to use the platform? Yeah, but like, what are the rules? But they don't slip, want. Right, like, but, but I, it's a slippery like, slope. If you can do that one thing, you can. If you can get away with menu options, you can get away with other things. It's like it's how it's how it's presented. You know. Uh, depends. I think I think it's it's more of a way to protect YouTube too, though, right? If you have if you have guidelines. No, that's what. All right. Oh, what do you mean, like what you, the guidelines for how users are putting their video? Like they don't want nudity. There's nothing on there, right? Okay. No. No. So those right. are the. Uh, this, that's what I'm saying. Like no, 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 this but, guideline but, wasn't there. No. No. But yeah. But all right. But from that point of view, it's like okay. So the guideline wasn't there, but if we're thinking in terms of protecting YouTube, while well, they're taking it down because they don't want any future backlash so they're preemptively no no no. i I understand i understand what why youtube was doing it i understand yeah yeah, yeah. but it doesn't but that's what i'm saying it doesn't really protect it didn't it protects them more if they can change it on the fly yeah because if they have to yeah that's what i'm saying like they should have well they 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 will probably learn from this and add more better guideline restrictions and all that sort of stuff that's true. That's true too. Yeah, right. but I feel like they have. Like that's they why they the had right, to reverse it. <laughs> they have no, but the only reason why they reverse it is because they're afraid of like the the slippery slope of everyone freaking leaving. Yeah, them, yeah, yeah, You know, like they already got some hate off the Alex Jones thing. Now this thing, it's like, ooh, they're like, they're the platform we all don't want to be on, right? Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't hate on them. I personally think, from a business, no, no, perspective, I don't either. They're, they're fine. But I don't even think that my my. Yeah, main topic wasn't about necessarily YouTube. It was just that how people can um, misunderstand something and take take it at another. <laughs> like what do you mean? Like take it as if it was the ga- like the games doing like, allow like I think what what happened out of that controversy it, it came out like oh you should not be able to do this in the game. Like you shouldn't have this kind of freedom to. Sh- oh um, yeah, true. To to shoot up a, a woman, but then well, if you play the game. It's not a lot like that, though. Okay, but because like, there's so a lesson like to that, learn even in the game. But but even like that. Okay, so to say something like you can't do this in the game, it's like you have freedom in the game. You could take any game, and then like, like you can, um, you know what I'm saying? Like I know, I know. Like you take any game and then misuse the game, and then it's like, well, you shouldn't have the ability to do that. Well, all right, then don't play the game. That's exactly you know what? that's exactly the point. What I'm saying, you, know? <laughs> you take something like like Tetris, and then you make you make. Um, you make like a phallic symbol. But like you're out you're, of you're taking one thing out of a game. No, but no, there's whole, so many more. Right, right, right. But but but, but like like this example. If if you're playing Tetris and then you make a phallic symbol, uh, you know phallic means. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. I don't want to <laughs> use the derogatory term. So I was like, all right. But you make a phallic symbol out of the Tetris pieces, and then they're like, <laughs> right. you shouldn't have the right to do. It. It's like, dude, you misused the game. The game was not supposed to be played this way. Like. It didn't say like one of the missions wasn't put the girl on the track and then run her over. No, yeah. So so it's like okay, so you're just doing it, or like when people like like shoot swear words into like Call of Duty shouldn't have that ability. Well, no, they're just shooting like, it's a, you know, you're like. No, I know that's what I'm saying. My my gripe was more about those people that were complaining about the game. Yeah, I feel. When so actually, saying, if you play world, the game, world. yeah, exactly. That's that's yeah. When you actually play the game, there's like a character not that far in the in the beginning. It was like she doesn't want to do the cooking and stuff. She wants to go and hunt. She wants to go and, like you know what I mean. Like all, oh, she's like a progressive. Exactly. So the like, woman's exactly. And then like if you play the game, it's not at all like what you think it is. But if you see, but it's like it's like what 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 like you instance took us, do you exactly. take on? Yeah. So it's like well, if you were championing, wow, this game is all about women's rights because we just take that one scene, yeah. then it's like you totally I mean, change like, the narrative of the game. I think they do show that. I mean, like there was a whole mission of us driving a cart where people were trying to get to. Like they were doing the protest, a full on. For sure, for sure. You, you know that line thing. where it's like, you see what your mind is conditioned to see? Mm-hmm. So, like, that person that wrote that is probably conditioned to seeing all the negativity, but it's like, but you missed all the positivity in this game. <laughs> like, the fact that you're taking care of a horse, bro. This is animal, but then it's this also... animal rights right here. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, you, oh, like he just patted the horse. <laughs> yeah. like, you know, he didn't hit the horse, so. Right. 
So this is a really, this is a strong proponent of animal rights in this video game. Yeah. But that's how I'm choosing to see it, right? Like, right. Yeah. But it's like, you know, one part of a game isn't the whole picture. It's just... For sure, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's... I mean, then we go into the whole thing about, like, freedom of speech. How far do you take yeah, freedom of yeah, yeah. speech? Yeah, yeah, talking about that already. Yeah, yeah. So it's like... Yeah. This is some... Actually, I think the... There was an interview uh, where someone from, from Rockstar was saying, like, with all this um, uh, quick to um, judge things or whatever yeah, yeah. that's happening, it's like, there were like, at least, you know, our GTA 5 game didn't come out right now. I know. Uh, yeah, we don't exact, even know what we're going to oh do for the next GTA goodness. 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of this, this whole craziness. SJWs and stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> the social commentary in that game was super intense. So yes. it's like, <laughs> yeah. And I don't want that to go. I, I like that. No, of course not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, and this uh, this game came out with, I guess they had a little different ways of sh showing it, but like even then, they're still picking and stuff from. Which actually segue, like, this is not one of my topics, but it made me think of it. We, we saw mid-90s. Yeah. And like, I didn't like, I, I love you, Jonah Hill. You're the best. <laughs> Kudos to you for making that movie. Mm -hmm. But I was like, eh, it's all right. It kind of made me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Like, but that, I guess that's what it's supposed to do. Maybe like I guess so. Yeah. But like looking at the mid '90s era and looking at our new era, it's kind of like you need a more of a medium. You know, like that was a little mm -hmm. too far in the mid '90s, right? And then this is a little too far too. So it's like you got to find a little bit of a common ground. We got to figure out what freedom of speech means. What like, just like if you don't like it, just don't play the game. Yeah. You know, and if you don't play the game, well, they're gonna lose money, and then. Like, by protesting, what are you really doing? But you protest with your dollars, right? So if people are buying into this, well, you know. I mean, they made a lot of money already. That's what I'm saying, exactly. So it's like. <laughs> I think most people don't have a problem with this. Exactly. It's, so, uh, it's the vocal minority that, that's just yeah, pushing the sure. agenda here. For sure. And you just can't pander to those people. Yeah. Just complain about anything. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it? Yeah, that was mainly it. Just right, cool. interesting. Controversial. So uh, I just read this in uh, I'm reading Stealing Fire right now, and uh, is I was like trying to think of a new topic, and like I read this just now, and it made me think of a, the long history of uh, um, spiritual teachers. Okay. So okay, you know, like in India, there's like the the Bra not Brahmin, the sadhus, the ones that like walk around like naked, <laughs> and they're like you know they're like the gurus and like the whatevers. Mm -hmm. So, you know Eckhart Tolle. I heard the name. All right, so he, he's like the spiritual guide of our time. Okay. Like everyone, everyone, but I don't really like it, his stuff. I love you, Eckhart Tolle. You're the best. But, <laughs> but like, I just disagree with. So, like, if you go into like positivity, or this is not really yeah, the yeah. primary topic, but if you go into positivity, it's all about, um, like, you, you're you're looking at it through a, a specific positivity lens, right? Mm -hmm. And you go through negativity, you're looking at it through a negative lens, right? But if you go through like, this is like the Taoist approach, like you look at both sides, you, then there's no real right or wrong, right? It's very like yeah. Nietzschean, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of like a, a divergent. The primary topic is that Eckhart Tolle dropped out of grad school and was homeless living in, I did not know this, it was in the book. <laughs> I was like, oh, he lived in the park benches in London and he was just poor. Mm -hmm. He was like, but now he's like a spiritual teacher. And it, it's weird how like you have to go through like everyone that claims spirituality speaks about being poor. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. and but like, so if you look, I understand why they're doing it. Because like, if you look at the story of Siddhartha, he gave up all everything. Right. Mm -hmm. But what they forget is that. Siddhartha was also rich, right? So he had, yeah. he had like everything, and then he also had nothing. So he's approaching his perspective on life, like the whole like uh, Buddhist philosophy, mm -hmm. is based off of again like the Taoism of bo seeing both sides. But if you're like if you're in a struggling class and then you just go poor, of course you're gonna hate riches and all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like. If you look at Buddhist te Buddha's teachings, it's not actually about do it, it's it's about detaching yourself from the material, but it's not necessarily um, vilifying the material. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 
Yeah, he never. I don't think he ever said. I could be wrong, Mm -hmm. but depending on the translation. But from what I've read, he never said anything about like sell everything, and like, pour is the way. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But I'm saying like, we. Of course, somebody from like, a high poverty. Experience is going to be like they'll see the pitfalls of materialism, Mm -hmm. you know, but, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like these kinds of people are too negative about the material. Mm -hmm. But if you look at Eckhart Tolle's life now, are you, do you, what kind of car do you have? What kind of watch do you have? You know what I mean? So it's like when you vilify things, it's like, but are you, do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. It's like, I think so. You, you're kind of like, you're kind of shitting on something, but use something. Okay. You know, like, like, um, what's his name? Uh, Osho would always talk about like letting go of materials, but he had so many Rolls Royces. <laughs> Classic example, right? So it's like, why not just teach us that material things are good? as well as bad. It's about your approach to the material or your, your perspective of the material, your attachment to the material. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, we're so, we, we create this romantic notion of spiritual people being poor. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. that it's like, it's almost misleading because all those spiritual teachers are actually taking your money and appearing to be poor. <laughs> right? Yeah. So... <laughs> that was just my thoughts because like when I read that I was like oh there's a lot of people that that follow that approach you know mm-hmm. like um, I don't actually I don't want to call anyone out oh. now, now that I think about it but y- you know like there's there's like a common characteristic of spiritual people being very ascetic yeah you know you never see a spiritual person that's like eh man you know I got a car that's cool, but it's just a car. The only person that I know that's kind of like that is Joe Rogan. That's why I like him. Like he's always like, yeah, you know, I have this car, but it's just a car. You know, mm-hmm. I realize that I can purchase these things, but they don't hold as much um, grip on me. Yeah, as other people. Right. Yeah, that's my thought. <laughs> so, anyways, what, what you got? Uh, well, it's a short one though. So, Disney's. Another like you know, last time I had an app last week was another app. It's uh, coming. Up. JC follow JC go. Oh, that was a while ago. Oh okay. Well, what app? Are we well, doing it? it's Disney's making an app. The, okay. Now everyone's getting into it. <laughs> Holy app game is strong. All right. Uh well the app it's not it's not a game it's it's the Netflix type. Okay. They're trying to do their own streaming service now. Oh oh okay Disney streaming service. Yeah it's called it's gonna be called Disney Plus. Okay. Does and it, uh, does it plus more money? Yeah, it's like ten dollars a month. I don't know what it is. Twenty bucks a month. We don't know what it's gonna be. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, they haven't priced. I would just get Netflix. Uh, I think a lot of people use Netflix to watch Disney movies for kids to watch. Oh, Disney movies. True. This could. That's yeah, true. We're not in that market. I'm. So. I'm. Because I heard before they announced this that they were working on one that could totally affect Netflix. Netflix. What? Because. Like a lot of the kids shows they have are Disney, on Netflix. Yeah, and okay, they will lose that. the contracts soon, and which will now, and Disney Ooh, will be running. Very interesting. Uh, and less, you know, like the Avengers and stuff like that. Those movies. Oh. They won't be getting them. I think on Netflix, it'll be going straight to Disney's Dang. platform. Dang. Okay. Um, this could potentially affect. I mean, I think. I would just buy both subscriptions. I, that's true. <laughs> it's like eleven dollars. Whatever. Man. Like. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, but like, there's so many out there now. Like, there's HBO Go. There's this. There's that. Like, instead of like, <laughs> all right. So quick, quick. Actually, what up. you could do you, is just buy. A, you know, oh, you know, pile up all the stuff you want to watch in a month, and just, you know, buy that one for the month, and then cancel it at the end of the month. That's true. That's true too. That's true too. He, I was thinking of ways to kind he, of like do it that way. You know what's funny about like um, money? How like money is also relative conceptually. Yeah. yeah so it yeah. depends on your level of income that you're making. So, like, I remember a time being like, oh, it's just 11 bucks. Like, I mean, no, no, sorry, sorry. It's 11 bucks. That's a lot of money. But now it's like, (laughs) ah, it's just 11 bucks. It's weird how that that can, like, 
like relative scale. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's kind of. I mean, you, I mean, it's it's much better than you know buying like cable that's like hundred dollars a month. Oh, I would never. No, even and then now, you're paying no, ten dollars no to what you want, right? Ten, you know, let's say you got three of them is like thirty bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. Right. Not true. Yeah, HBO, Netflix, and Disney. Disney. Thirty bucks. Yeah. And then you got, don't forget about your Apple Music subscription, fourteen ninety nine. Oh, right, music, yeah. Um, that's well, that's because that's 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 we have a family plan. That's why it's fourteen. That's all you really need. Like, yeah, true. Music, movies, Steam. Would you get Steam? I don't think they have that though. Oh, okay. Steam is just like a place to buy the game. Oh, never mind. Pass on that. I thought <laughs> it was like a rental. Like you play any game. Uh. No, no, not like that. Like, you're buying. It's like a store. It's a store. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. All right, yeah. I think there, like, there is ones like Game Pass that Xbox has. I think they're doing, like, some conference right now or some present. Like, oh, something cool. that they have right now. Like a, anyway, so, yeah, they do, like, that Game Pass, some odd games, 100 games a month. Mm, that's or, cool. Or 100, you games 100 games you have. Or? 100 games you have, and they're every month they're adding two new games or something oh, like that. Cool. And then you're paying whatever it is per month. Cool. Oh. Yeah. And this is also Amazon Prime. Oh, yeah. Don't, well, I feel like really there's nothing really, like, Amazon Prime is more like a, you don't really need that, I don't feel. Unless you get I love you, Amazon. Stuff. You're the best. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like every time I talk negative about something, I should always, Amazon. like, give a little love back. Yeah. Right. So anyways. I mean, there's a lot of people that buy it. There's quite a huge amount of people that have it, actually, that they're, it's quite successful. Which one? The Amazon Prime. Prime? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. But, like, what... I guess there's Looming Tower on there. I don't know. It just hasn't built no, up... No, no, no. It's not just name. about that. It, yeah. Because they're adding in a bunch of different things. Right. It's, yeah. So, like, they're so still kind of... It, it kind of works out. Yeah. Actually, it's really good for Twitch streamers. But how much does uh, Netflix make each month? Like, $3 million a month? Netflix? Oh, I don't know. I, they make some, like, absurd amount of money. Like, they spend billions of dollars to make original content. Yeah, so. they're probably getting so much money that they don't even know how to spend it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why they're just creating stuff all the I time. I mean, I like what they're doing. I, I like many of the shows. I just watched the one that just came out, Outlaw King. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. Which, uh, actually, um, was kind of um, another side note. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh, what was I going to say? It's called... Like, uh, some, like, decision-making, right? Like, who's in real control because you start to trust Netflix for its, its like, recommendations? So <laughs> yeah. it's like, are we making, like, who's really governing us? Is it us? I think, did you, you know? bring that or up like, already last, last No, week? I think you and I just talked about it oh, on the okay. side. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like, mm -hmm. if I know... If I start to try, if if the algorithm of Netflix gets better and better, mm -hmm. I won't even need to search anymore. I'll just be like, yeah, Netflix, tell me what to watch. So it's like, who's governing who at that point, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, basically, they're just showing like what 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 shows they're working on. So it won't be out till sometime next year. Okay, and that's when the contracts end. I next year? think so, or they will slowly end. I don't. Know, I don't know if they will renew the contract with Netflix or not. I don't. I don't think they would if they want to. Yeah. It's it's funny how like we we jump into life like midway through we don't even realize that deals like life's been going on far longer than <laughs> us you know what I mean like when like the British had Hong Kong and they're like we're gonna keep you for a hundred years and then we'll release you back to the British like ownership or, or back to China yeah. <laughs> yeah and then in our lifetime it's like oh Brit Britain's relinquishing ownership of Hong Kong to go back to China and we're like okay. <laughs> you know, but you don't realize that these deals have been going on for so long. This, like this Disney deal, you know, they probably had like a three. It's weird how like that works. Nothing's forever, is what I'm saying. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I mean, they're all contract like, based. Contract, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's It'll be big. forever in your lifetime, but yeah. not forever. In I think like the lifetime. recent I just heard was like Amazon made a contract now with Apple to sell their products on Amazon. Oh, that's cool. So I wonder what that that's deal was. Actually, that's probably really good, actually, because I would, I would buy it. I love it buying stuff on Amazon. <laughs> See, I love you, Amazon. Just don't like your Amazon Prime, but I love your services. Well, yeah. it depends, yeah. Did you hear, I don't know if you heard about this or if I, I, I told, yeah, but I don't know if I told you this. Um, I was in this like morning meeting thing and they were talking about how um, the climate is healing itself. I heard about this. Yeah, okay. A while ago. 
Yeah. Yeah, but like the... they they took out one chemical, like the UN or something, took out. They like banned the the use of this chemical, and then ever since it's banned, like the the ozone healed itself. Where there's yeah, a yeah, hole, yeah. I and heard, I was like, I oh. heard about the ozone. Well, what don't we know about the environment? You know what I mean? Mm. Well, I knew about that. It was a while ago. It was an old news section. Oh. Okay. I have it if you read the news. The game. No, I, I don't read the news. I, feel <laughs> I mean, like, mine's I feel off like on Twitter, point. and then I see these things. Yeah, so I mean, like, yeah, it's it's like passed down, right? It's like, oh, what was that? The it was in that um, Twenty One Lessons book from the guy who wrote Sapiens. He said like, truth is a matter of search engine optimization. Like, if it comes to the uh, top of the list, you know, like, what's new today? And then it'll right. it'll become like truth if it's at the top of the list but mm-hmm. if it's not there then you have no idea about it right yeah that's and true I, and i feel like news is starting to become that thing where it's like you heard it from a source who heard it from a source you know what i mean like i i don't well no no, no I, don't, I'm, I don't watch the i mean news. i'm not looking at someone writing about it I'm, it's more like on the on the news feed side oh, okay so well from my perspective it's like from my um side yeah it's like i get it through you Right. So like I'm not. I feel like it's, if it's important, you'll tell me about it. I I'm telling. So this is crazy. So I don't watch the news, right? And then um, my parents were watching CNN. So I'm like, all right, let me just check it out. And I was like, oh, there's these wildfires in California right now. And I was like, oh, that's what that guy was talking about. Because in my Instagram feed, there's UFC fighters like praying for all the people in Cali. I'm like, was there another shooting? Like I don't, I don't know what's going <laughs> Actually, on. Actually, there right? was. Oh, there was. All right. It wasn't. I don't think the. the no, no, he's talking about the fire. No, he was talking he was about, about the fire. About the fire yeah. Okay. Then I read back because like, oh, that's what you were talking actually, about. Actually, the day before that was the, the Cali shooting. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're just getting hit hard. Dang. So, but you know what's funny? So, like, um, Will Smith was, they were saying, like, on CNN that Will Smith, um, he, 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 him and his family were trying to go to higher ground because there was the fires I heard in Malibu. Mm-hmm. And I, my immediate reaction was, I wonder if he's going to vlog this. Because he has his vlog now and I watch it, right? So I'm uh, like, hey, oh, I'm out here. Surviving these fires. Oh, okay. You know, right. Et cetera, et cetera. But, oh. yeah. <laughs> and then when I watched it on the freaking, like, if I hadn't heard of this on CNN, mm-hmm. I would have just watched his vlog and I'd be like, oh, what? There's a fire? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like there's too much to pay attention to in this world. It's like, you know. I think some news is, well, these things, if, if it's immediate, something's happening around you. Yeah, but simultaneously when we were traveling in, like, Asia and then they had, like, they were talking about how, uh, Japan was encroaching on Philippine territory. And then I believe I asked you, who's back in Canada, and you're like, we didn't really talk about that. Or maybe it was Brownlee. I was talking Brownlee. No, no, no. I'm talking about local news. No, no, of course, of course, of course. But like, I'm saying there's so much news out there that you can't pay attention to everything. No, I'm saying more of a local thing. Like something. Well, Cali's not local. No, I know. That's why it doesn't matter to us. Oh, right, right, right. I'm saying. Well, I heard there was a shooting in Yorkdale. Like, and I was like, what? Not recently, but like, Mm -hmm. uh, like a few months ago. And I was like, oh, I had no idea. Yeah, see? It was just there. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, that Again, was a while ago, right? I don't think there was one recently. That was a while ago. I, I don't even know. <laughs> I just, I heard it through my sister, who's another source. So it's like, all right, well, this, right. Is, how I, this is how I access my news. But then you guys wouldn't have heard of, like, other things that I heard of. You know what I mean? I feel like we got to collectively, it's sort of like, it's sort of like you have different scouts. Like if we're a freaking mm-hmm. tribe and then you have different scouts that go into different things and then they like report back to the team. Like, all right, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. Like if we're all looking at the same stuff, then it's like, well, then you're in a vacuum. Yeah. You, know, you, need, to, you, know, you need to oh, yeah. diversify your um, information sources. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, it's pretty much, I mean, they're working on their own, <laughs> like their own, series and stuff star wars oh that's a cool. loki series a loki se- oh that's like cool being actor okay back okay he died. for Spoiler this tv alert. show oh no for in on like these netflix original like sorry D- disney disney, <laughs> disney original. originals wow that's sick okay well i'd probably buy it actually right if it's if, they, if they're doing content like that yeah sure but yeah if no, they, no if there's like children like content so i was like ah no pass on that no 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 i didn't know there'd be like adult themed I think that's cool. I think it'll be like a broader spectrum. Oh, okay, that's cool stuff. then. That's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. All right. So final topic of the day is the secret to life. Okay. So I was thinking about like I wasn't just thinking about this. I was like contemplating this for a while by reading all these books. But mm-hmm. then uh, the twenty one lessons for the twenty first century by 
Yuval Harari. I don't, I don't know your name. Sorry. It's got, you got a hard name, bro. Um, okay. <laughs> the guy who wrote Sapiens. That's how we know you. Mm-hmm. So the guy who wrote Sapiens, he, he wrote that book. And uh, I know I was telling you about this yesterday, but I believe that I really believe that this is what everyone's searching for. And they're all like, because they always say like enlightenment's on the tip of your, like it's right in front of you at all times, right? And you're like, well, what does that mean? It's so elusive. Like, I feel like anyone who, I feel like most people who can't like just point to the exact truth of it, it means they're still kind of looking. You know, when people talk about like consciousness and how mm-hmm. it irritates me because it's like, oh, consciousness is this elusive thing that, but it's like, no, bro, like just think about it. You tell me in layman's terms what consciousness is. So I believe it's active awareness, right? Because if you're conscious of something, you know, you're actively aware of it. Right. Right. So if you can simplify it into easy terms that people can understand, that means you really know your co- simple is complicated understood, basically. Mm-hmm. Right. So uh, I really like this book because it, it tied into the exact same thing I was thinking of, which is the thing that the Matrix was trying to tell you, you right. know, like the illusion, right? How they're like, oh, you're in an illusion. You're in like in a world of illusions. Mm-hmm. What they're really trying to tell you is that it's narratives. Your mind is the thing that creates the narrative. So if you're like, I'm, I'm searching for the meaning of life, which is what I remember I was in martial arts. I think I've told this story like a thousand times, but I was in martial arts and then my instructor was like, why are you so dedicated? I'm like, I'm looking for truth. It was such a weird thing to say. And then he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, I don't know. There's like a, there's like a truth of the universe, something, right? And, he, and then he said this to me and I didn't get it at the time, but I get it now. Uh, he's like, did you see the plane that flew right behind you? And I was like, no. And he's like, that's the truth. Right? It's mm-hmm. like, it's like what's in you, the truth is what you make it. It's like it's in your, 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 what's in your field of active awareness, right? Like, is it true if I didn't see the plane? Not true to me. True to someone else. True to the observer, right? But what it, I think you can distill it further. And it's like, because he also hits it in the book too. Um, truth is whatever narrative you're telling yourself and that is what the secret of life is because it's like whatever you believe the secret of life to be mm-hmm. that's what you're, it's going to be so for me it's like oh it's all narratives but like somebody could be like the secret of life is that we're on an alien spacecraft and we're actually gods that are like geoengineering other things you know what I mean right Right. Like, there's, like we feel like there's this big mystery Mm-hmm. to the universe and the big mystery is you're creating the mystery there is no real mystery okay yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying yeah. it's like the fact that you're thinking there's a mystery in the universe that is the narrative you've sold to yourself yeah right? yeah, 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 it, yeah, yeah it cycles back on itself yeah, yeah, yeah you can't escape the story and I think in it's like basest lowest common denominator it's it's mm-hmm. the story yeah. we don't realize that we're telling ourselves stories Right, yeah, and yeah. once you get rid of the story, then you're just there is no life, right? There's just living. Mm-hmm. You know, when people are like, "Oh, you need to stop doing and start being," yeah, or stop. You know, what I mean, like yeah, be yeah, in the yeah, moment. Yeah, I know, yeah. Like what they're really trying to say is like get rid of the narrative because your your narrative's blocking you from experiencing the moment. Mm-hmm. But again, putting back the importance of narratives, how would you even know that that moment was important? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without the narrative of realizing right. it was important, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you need everything. Mm-hmm. I I had this weird like thought. I I couldn't articulate it, but it like hit me. I could see it visually, but like I'm gonna try and articulate it now. It's like it's like the the like life. There's like this thing that's like active awareness. You're a consciousness, all right, and we're like we have these like vehicles that are able to tap into or create that consciousness to allow itself to experience itself. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's like, why would, it's almost, it's it's like we're like ripples. Oh, it's hard to explain it. Cause the thing that got me was like, okay, if you're sick, there's a thing in this universe that can make you unsick, right? But why would why would the universe create something that makes you unsick? That's not the point, though. The point is that you have to realize that you're all one. You're in a collective cycle that requires 
each other. Mm-hmm. You know, the sickness and the cure are one already. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and it's like, if you look at life in terms of that, it's like, we're not really doing anything. We're just like, we're like expanding and contracting mm-hmm. at all times. Right. I, I, I will figure out a less <laughs> mystical way to say that, yeah. but it's like, it's really hard to articulate that. But you get what I'm trying to say? It's like, we just don't have the right words in English, probably. Yeah, but I can see it in my head. Like, I can visually yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, I just yeah. don't know how to explain the expanding and contracting. It's just like, we're like, oh, I'm sick. Okay, here's the cure for that. It's like it's like disharmony and harmony. We're always going through these, like, stages of, like, need and not need. Mm-hmm. You know, like, like hunger. And then you'll eat something. Right. But it's like, why was there hunger in the first place? You know? But mm-hmm. the the illusion is that hunger and eating are separate. It's just an it's just a thing that is happening in the universe. Or, you know what I'm saying? Mm, okay. Yeah. So, so like, oh yeah, it's it's hard to explain. The best way I can articulate it at this point point in time, if you're listening to this and you understand what I'm saying, kudos to you. If you don't know what I'm saying, I'll try and simplify it in the future. I just can't articulate it really well right now. But it's like. Um, where separate separation and non-separation is happening at all times. Mm-hmm. Like separation would be like, hung, or homeostasis and not homeostasis are always happening. But in the whole circle of things, it's like they're all one. Right. So yeah, I'm, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah. There's food, right? There's separation there. I go to eat that food. I'm like, okay, well, I'm back to homeostasis now. But if you observe it outwards, then it's like there was really no separation. You were just doing something that's a natural cyclical process. Mm-hmm. You're just you're just seeing it as like I must eat. But it's like no, no, that food was there for for you to eat. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like it's like it's like looking at the freaking. It's like not realizing the cycle. You could either look at it as like the cycle. Or, like, you can look at it as, like, mm-hmm. component parts of the cycle. Yeah. I'm diverging way too far. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'll figure it out. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, all right, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> if you get it out there, kudos to you. Because mm-hmm. that, was, that was a hard one to explain. But, yeah, that hit me. And it was like, so then what are we doing here? You know, we're just. What do you mean? You no, know, no, it, it's just happening, right? But then, yeah. But then really it's the stories that are telling us what we're doing here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But if, if there was no story, it would just be happening. Mm-hmm. You know? I'm trying to figure out the best story right now to articulate what it is that I'm seeing of this never-ending cycle of non-story. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know, we're just going to end it there because this is like some crazy... We humans think too much. Yeah, this is like some... Freaking! You, you, you know what's funny? All right, uh, there's a story of like Alexander the Great, I believe it's Alexander the Great, and um, he goes to this mystic, and they're like, "If you can untie this knot, you can become the king." Mm-hmm. Right? It's an old fable, and so many people were like, "Oh, I can't untie the knot! I can't untie the knot! I can't untie the knot!" Right? So like, he went through cycle after cycle, and then one person came, and then they just cut the knot, <laughs> right. and then they became king. So, like, really what it's saying is, like, sometimes you just got to let the problem go. Like, right now I'm creating this insane knot that I'm trying to untangle and explain to you. But it's like, we're just going to end it, and I'm cutting the knot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, until next time, play some video games. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. You got a final thought on that one? <laughs> I think I said that. We think too much. Yeah. All right. That's I'm gonna go with you on that one. I've mind blown myself. Anyways, we might be back with a online sessions. Who knows? We'll see. We're running out of time today, but yeah. Till next week. Stay hungry. Stay cute. What? I don't know. Stay foolish. Stay. I don't know. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.